Hello, I'm David Newcomb, and this is my dad, Craig, and this is Cornwallis Farms Limited. It resides here in Port Williams, and it's, it was, it's been around since 1761, and I'm the 10th generation farmer here. The land that this farm is currently on was part of the land grant given to the planters, which came up from New England after the Acadians were expelled. Currently, we have about 1.4 million kgs of chicken quota. We have 21,000 lang hens and 60 dairy cattle, which are purebred Holsteins. On the cropping side of things, we crop about 1,500 acres of land, which consists of corn, wheat, soybean, and forage. From the harvest of those, we take it all to our on-farm feed mill, and we'll produce the 3,500 tons of feed it requires to feed our animals per year. And from that feed, 90% of our inputs will come from our crops. In the summer of 2008, uh, we had the opportunity to participate in an energy audit study of two of our poultry barns. The first one, being our layer barn, recently renovated, um, proved out very well. Uh, new fluorescent lighting um, tightened up the, the building and uh, it, it showed very well. The other barn was an older barn, a, a chicken producing barn, uh, built in 1964. Upon the results coming back to us from the study, we realized that we had some real issues in the poultry barn. Um, energy usage was probably as high as any barn they had ever done, and much to my chagrin. From this audit, we went through a, a process realizing that we, we had to make some renovations. Um, like any renovation project, once we get into it, we, we kind of figured once we're here, we might as well do a little more and a little more, and, and sure enough, it, it turned into to quite a large project in the end, um, all of which improved the, the overall efficiency of the barn. Essentially, the project was done in two separate phases. Uh, the first phase, done in own, the winter of 09, included the upgrade of the lighting system from incandescent to high efficiency T8s. As well, we removed the hot water, oil hot water system to a high efficiency propane burner. Um, we had tried compact fluorescence in other barns, including that barn, um, but we found that the, the failure rate was just too high and we could not get a comfort level with them, so we thought we'd, we'd stay with the full fluorescent fixtures. When, when planning out the, the first phase, we upgraded the uh, lighting system and heating system. The second phase, which was done in the winter of 2010, included the renovation of the south wall, uh, the inst installation of the solar wall at that time, as well as a complete upgrade of all the exhaust fans, which were in turn put on the north wall. Originally, all the fans were on the south side of the barn. Um, to accommodate the solar wall, we, would ha we moved all these fans to the north side. Um, the advantage there was it gave us the excuse to, to totally strip this wall down to nothing and re-insulate and uh, tighten the barn up considerably, which has is, is helped to the overall efficiency as well. Um, at that time, we totally removed all the smaller, poor efficiency fan motors and replaced them with high efficiency motors. A bigger motor size which allowed our CFM per kilowatt efficiency to be much better. We also increased the CFM for the whole barn to get us from uh, pre-existing four CFM per bird up to a, a CFM per bird level uh, to help deal with some of the problems we were having with uh, heat removal in the summertime. Uh, what attracted us to the solar wall was its simplicity. Um, Essentially, it uses passive solar heat from the sun, which heats an air space. Um, this air is, once heated, pulled into the barn and used as part of the normal ventilation system. Um, when the heat requirement is not desired, a baffle on the bottom of the solar panel opens up, allowing air to move through the panel without being preheated therefore not adding any extra heat to the pen when not desired. Um, the solar wall we felt was a nice complement to the propane. It allowed us to, to get a little extra 
bang for our buck as far as uh, efficiency goes um, and, and giving us a green source of energy, which was also attractive. I guess as far as things we might do different, uh, we're very happy with the so solar efficiency overall. It's uh, a very maintenance-free product. Uh, we, we like that. It uh, has, has done what we've asked it to do as far as the, the savings we're seeing. Um, a little side benefit is, is we do get a better air quality and the ability to move more air in the winter time, which is something we didn't consider at the time. Clean up. On the clean out side of things, I've also noticed good improvements. It's a lot easier to clean up the barn with having the fans all on one side and the uh, wall where the solar wall is. It's just one nice sheet of plywood, really easy to spray. Also with the new lights, they have a plastic fixture over them. So it's really easy to spray the fixture clean and you don't have to worry about blowing up the incandescent light bulbs which used to be there from uh, high pressure sprayers. Initial calculations um, have shown that it looks like we're going to save in the uh, proximity of 30% on our fuel usage for heat because of the solar wall gains. Um, the, the lighting improvement is going to give us approximately $2,000 a year savings on our, our power for our lights. In planning this project we were able to find two sources of funding. The first was a farm investment fund which allowed 50 percent for both the solar wall and the upgrade in the lighting system. Uh, we were also able to utilize a, a 15 percent grant from uh, commercial solar from Conserve Nova Scotia. Through the renovations, we've noticed that not only are we saving money on the energy side of things, but we're also growing better quality birds through the conditions in the barn, and it's making our lives easier with lower maintenance and easier cleanouts. And we would definitely recommend this to other farmers looking to make a more efficient and energy efficient barn.